everyone, we're here to work on a few things. Particularly, we're going to work on touch. When we talk about touch, we're talking about control. Not just dribbling, but touch. How much control do we have when we get the ball? Specifically, our first touch. Our first touch is going to say a lot about what we can do with the ball, positively or negatively. So we're going to show you a bunch of options today where you can work outside or you can work inside uh, like with a tennis ball. So here we go. So we're going to start off here with our right foot to touch. We're going to be using the inside of our foot, which is our primary way of passing. I'm going to put the ball right in front of us so that we can step through it every time. We're going to do this 10 times. Then we're going to move to our left foot and do the same thing. It should be right in front of us every time we stop it so that we can step through the pass. After this, we're going to move to one touch with our right foot. We've got to concentrate here. We've got to control it no matter where the ball comes out. Focus. One touch is a little bit harder, but it takes more focus and it can be done. Brick wall is perfect for this, or even a fence. After we get 10 times of the right foot, we're going to go to our left foot, a little bit harder. Pass through the middle of the ball so we have more control. If we get underneath the ball, it's going to go up and then we can't control it. We lose it to the other team. The next thing we're going to work on is shooting. I don't have tons of room here to drill the ball every time. You may. But what we're focusing on is mechanics. We don't want you to run a lot on this. We just want you to get your plant foot beside the ball. So I'm going to take one step, plant foot beside the ball, and I'm going to point my toe down to lock my ankle. I'm focusing on between my laces and my instep. So not a pass, not right on laces. The big bone right here is where we're focusing on. That is our heavy metal slugger there. That's where we're going, okay? So if I have a short wall like I have here, I'm just going to step. I'm not going to run. We just want you to step and focus on placement. And then you can even, if you get good at it, you can get your first touch there. So we're going to focus again. We're going to step. We're going to swing all the way through. All right, so now we're going to give you some options where you can work on touch inside. Um, we recommend a tennis ball inside. Um, you can see that we're going to work in a very small area. Um, tennis ball, for one, because it's a whole lot harder than a soccer ball. And also, this is our option for working inside. Um, so I'm going to have an assistant here. It looks like I got a second one for a brief minute. He'll, he'll get out of the way in a minute. Um, but we're going to work on our touch with a tennis ball. If you can control the ball with a tennis, you can control a tennis ball. You can control a soccer ball. A tennis ball is so much harder um, to control. So we want you to try both these options. We're going to simply um, be working with our instep, which is what we usually pass with, and we're also going to be working with our laces, and we're going to be doing both feet. So we're going to do 10 instep passes with both feet, and then 10 laces touch touches. I said passes, but touches with both feet. So we're going to work on getting the ball, we're going to be standing a little bit back here in between our cones. We got about two feet, two, two and a half feet. Okay. So we're going to take a step back here. And the idea is somebody's going to throw this ball up and people that are helping, let's give an underhand toss where they can control it. And we're going to focus on whether it be our instep or our laces, getting the ball right here, because if I can control the ball and it stops right there, I can do something with it. If it's still bouncing and all over the place, I can't do anything with it. If it's over there when I take a touch, they got it or I'm going to have to go chase it. So we want the ball right basically where we can step to it after we control it. After we receive the ball, our touch needs to be right in front of us. So that's what we're going to focus on. This is an easy um, way that we can focus on it inside without breaking anything. So we will get two points. Um, we're going to go 10 times um, with each foot, um, whether it be instep or laces. Uh, we get two points for here, and the person throwing the ball will be a couple feet away. If it goes to them, we get a point because it's still going to be controlled. 
So let's see how well we can do. As we get better with this, we're going to add other things. We're going to start off with our right foot. We're going to start off with our laces. There we go. There we go. Two points, two points, two points. Oh, no points. There we go. Focus on it. It's a lot of focus to get this, girls. You have to really think about what you're doing. All right, now we're going to move to our right foot, and we're going to use our instep, uh, usually the, the biggest part of our foot that we pass with. Um, should have more control here. Think about what you're doing as the ball's in the air, what you want it to what you want to do with it. Connect your mind to your foot. Perfect. Now we're going to move to our left foot and we're going to go with our laces. Second assistant. Get out of here. Good. There it is. For most of you, left foot's going to be a whole lot harder, but don't sell yourself so short. If it's harder, then do more of them. Now we're going to move to our left foot. And we're going to use our instep, the biggest part of our foot. Perfect. Focus on getting those two points, girls. One is good, but get two. Yep. And one more. So you will start out... Um, if you can, do it every day. Get at least 10 reps of this. And as you get better at it, go to 15, then 20, and so on. Um, we will check in on this at practice and you see how much better your touch is. And it will be very evident um, who's been working on this kind of stuff. If you put the time in, your touch is going to show up on the field. You're going to quit losing the ball. You're going to keep the ball. And we're going to score a whole bunch more just because you have been working on your first touch.